So next up on the Transformers Fan First Friday from Hasbro Pulse, we got a pretty much themed Transformers the 86 movie kind of thing going on, but they gave us a little bit of a swerve at the end and revealed to us our next iteration of the Transformers Shattered Glass Collection. Up to this point, we know about the Deluxe Blur, and we saw all the images with that. We saw the Voyager Class Megatron and all the new retooling and extra accessories. And today we were shown the Shattered Glass Collection Voyager Class Starscream. Now, the color scheme doesn't surprise me. It's using the old historical iteration of the 2008 BotCon version, which at that time was based off of a Galaxy 4 Cybertron mold using Jetfire G1 colors. And it looks really good. The choice of using the Siege mold over that of the Earthrise Starscream Voyager was probably more to the fact that this story is based on Cybertron, so the the uh, Cybertronian-esque kind of design makes more sense. Not to mention when you look at even at the Galaxy Force Cybertron one, it was more of that Tetrajet kind of shape too going on even back then in 2006 and 2008. So it kind of works. It kind of works in a lot of ways. Uh, the big surprise though was again, much like Megatron, extra accessories were included that were not originally included with the original Siege Starscream mold. And it is that of these two Energon Sabres that plug on the sides of his jet mode and in robot mode could be wielded as two separate Energon Sabres or could combine together to make a larger Energon Sword. This is the wording that is being used by the Hasbro Pulse people here and Hasbro designers. So it looks really good. Looks really good. They also showed a piece of art the cover of probably one of the variant covers done by the amazing Casey Collar featuring the Starscream here. And they refer to him as, oddly enough, and this is according to Hasbro, the White Knight of the Decepticons. <laughs> Their words, not mine. Very interesting. I guess he's white knighting for... Uh, the female fans, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what they're trying to imply here. Very weird kind of wording. But either way, <laughs> either way, it still looks great. I love it. I think he looks fantastic. Again, I own the original and uh, I love that mold and it just, it looks good. So it'll be cool to pick this up in the future also. Um, now, again, like I said before, up to this point, we have the Blur, we have the Megatron, we have the Starscream. There's still two more two more of these guys to be revealed and the rumors online that we've seen in the listings that we've seen online is a deluxe class gold bug and a commander class Jetfire. these are rumors we don't know 100 percent if it's true but the gold bug i have this like flip-flop kind of thing are they going to use one of those cliff jumper hubcap you know bumblebee netflix molds or which one are they going to use and then give it the gold bug color scheme from shattered glass which had its own unique thing or are they going to look at what the shattered glass original toy was which used that cybertron hotshot mold which was very hot rod kind of esque and are they going to use let's say voyager class studio series 86 hot rod give that the color scheme and call that gold bug, maybe with a new head sculpt and some new accessories. I'm, I'm leaning it probably won't be the case because they'll probably want to save that mold for a shattered glass hot rod or Rodimus at some point in the future if this line really gets some legs and continues moving forward. But something's going to happen probably with that gold bug. I'm leaning more towards my first ideas that I just said there, using that cliff jumper mold and all its ecosystem of the stuff related to that in retooling and everything. New accessory, new head sculpt, they'll do something for sure. And I mean, Commander Class Jetfire, I mean, really, you only had three Commander molds really at this point. So which one is it going to be? Is it going to be the Skylink's mold? Is it going to be the Rodimus mold? Or is it going to be the Jetfire mold for a Shattered Glass Jetfire? So pretty obvious where they're going to go with that. Very interesting to see that they're going to do a Commander Class though, big pricey figure. But I mean, if we saw anything with the Black Zarek Titan Class, it shows that Hasbro Pulse is willing to kind of gamble on large price point kind of stuff and see where it goes with from there. We'll see what happens in the future. Uh, according to them, they say here pre-orders will start later today, if not now, as of this recording's upload. So uh, be sure to check that out and pick it up. Hopefully it doesn't sell out too quickly. 
Um, but this looks great. Looks great. The shattered glass line is very interesting. And again, it opens the doors. It really opens the doors to much more that could be done later on with in terms of repaints and getting use out of molds and stuff. Some people don't like the, the repaints. That's fine. But if you're someone that's really into repaints and the shattered glass universe, this is a good opportunity for Hasbro to take a whole bunch of molds and give them a second, third, fourth, fifth life with a repaint. Look at the Look at the uh, Rekar we just talked about. There's a Shattered Glass Rekar repaint literally sitting within that mold if needed to give it that more Insecticon, Insecticon kind of color scheme to match his Shattered Glass interpretation. And you could put that in the Shattered Glass line. A whole bunch of characters and a whole bunch of molds, each one of them have a Shattered Glass color scheme ready to be unlocked if needed to put into that line and get some extra mileage out of a mold with all the R&D and investment with Hasbro. Either way, let me know what you think about Starscream. I dig that he just comes with the extra accessory. The sword thing also kind of harkens back even to his Armada stuff where he had the Star Saber and he was wielding it for a short period of time during that time where it was like his 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 sword before Hotshot got it and then later on Sideways stole it from both of them. But either way, awesome stuff. Pretty cool. Very hyped about this. Uh, hopefully we'll see more in the near future and we're going to have a really good stream, but we still have one more segment before the day is done. <laughs> 